Ida, 14 years after your last goal for Bolton Wanderers, uh, how special was that for you this afternoon? Well, it's special in the sense that it's uh, it's great to get on the score sheet, uh, obviously levelling the game, but it it would have been much sweeter if we got the three points, you know, it's, uh, and that's what it's all about. But it, it's a, it was a great feeling, putting the ball in the net. Do you say, have you taken many penalties throughout your career? I've, I've taken a few um, at various clubs that I've been at, whether it's uh, uh, during games or penalty shootouts. I've always been very, very confident in uh, in my penalty taking and just fearless, really. The draw this afternoon, uh, disappointed overall. Yeah, disappointing in a sense that it, it was a big opportunity for us to get back on track to. Uh, to get three points, to especially playing at home, um, I think the sense in the dressing room is that you know we, we feel that we can play better than what we did today. I think we got caught up a little bit in in, in the battle, uh, in a bit of a fight, rather than getting the ball down and play at times. Uh, without making excuses, obviously the the conditions weren't the greatest today. The the wind played a part. The pitch was. Uh, dry, uh, so it, it was hard getting the ball down and, and finding a, a good pace of, of, of passing. But um, we know that we can do better. The setback of the early goal certainly doesn't help either, does it? Well, yeah. Well, you, you say setback. It's it's you know we invited it a little bit. We we didn't start the game well enough, and uh, when you when you don't start well enough, you get punished. Uh, at, at, at this level, you get punished for for not being at it from the first minute, or, or mistakes, or collective mistakes, or uh, whatever way you want to look at it. Whether it was a penalty, I'm not going to go into into that. Whether ours was a penalty, I, I'm, I'm not even sure. Uh, all in all, a bit of a stalemate today. Two penalties in, over the 90 minutes, and uh, yeah, that's we leave we leave with a bit of a sour taste really. First time we've uh, had really chance to talk to you since you, you returned to the club. How are you enjoying it being back at Bolton? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm loving every minute of it. Um, and um, you know, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised how, how I feel, how I felt in recent weeks. I think um, you know my performance is up to now. Today wasn't my best game, but it's been, I felt great. I feel stronger by the week, and uh, I'm sure that come the end of the season. Uh, I'll be even fitter and stronger, and uh, hopefully, you know, bring a lot more points to the to the team. Just one final question. Uh, obviously, you've been involved in the game a long time. Uh, wh where can you see this Bolton Wanderers squad going? Well, it's uh, like I say, this this league, it's a, it's a thin line. It's, it's a thin line between winning and losing, as we saw today. You know, with a bit of luck, we could have won, but you know, if you're not at it, you we could have lost as well. So, uh, you, you see a group of teams that. Or more or less all of the teams in this league are at a very similar level quality wise it's about being better on the day it's about wanting it more showing more hunger um, knowing exactly where where you want to go uh, as an individual and as a team and the managers made that very clear to us where he wants to go and that's uh, moving up the table as, as quick as possible um, I wouldn't say time is running out but we we need to get back on track and need to put a few wins together again